Hi YouTube, it's Chucks here. Um, just been working out. I was going to put a uh, Arduino and a screen onto my new spot welder that I'm building. I'm going to get rid of that arm. I don't need it. But I'll lift it in there for the moment and probably leave it in there until I finish because I might change it later. I'll just use it for the batteries and then later on use it for something else. And you can see in here I've got two turns on my microwave transformer. So I cut it out by using a hacksaw and then tapping them out with a piece of steel. And I've got a 5 volt down here and I have a 240 uh, relay here which will be that we've soldered a wire from there to the centre pin and then we put um, two more wires onto it to and I know that's not a good explanation two wires that go to the 5 volts positive and negative to switch on the relay which is these two pins here which will turn on the power to the transformer but what I wanted to do was I wanted to get a bit of a timer happening so that I can actually make sure don't worry about that stuff right up the top because that's something else uh, yeah make sure that it turns on for a certain amount of time and turns off so what I've used here is a thing called a 555 timer a lot of you will probably know what a 555 timer are and they're quite easily understood by um, having a look at it you've got a ground you've got a trigger which triggers it on uh, an output to turn on and off things 5 volt wise and a reset which you, is a reset low so if you're going to use it and you're not going to use the reset tie it high to the VCC voltage the VCC is a power supply voltage the discharge for the capacitor setting the threshold which a you know to make sure that it's a set to a certain time that it will trigger and then a voltage um, control voltage which sets the control voltage to switch on as well anyway I've got the circuit up here if you look at the circuit I've got a 10k pot which I'm going to drill into the top I have a LED which I've put in with a um, resistor there to stop any you know stop it from well it's a pull-up resistor they call them but it actually uh, stops it from current runaway on them and then you've got a 0 0.01 microfarad green tantalum capacitor uh, 470 microfarad cap electrolytic cap we tie off the threshold discharge and we have another 10k there I'd forgotten to get that so I had to go looking for it in my spares box now up here you've got time 1.1 times 10k times the electrolytic cap gives you about 5.17 seconds that it will arc now I'm going to try that first now you could always if this doesn't work properly you can always change these values because these values here plus the cap set the timing for the circuit okay so mainly this and this so how long it takes to charge up and to understand that fully just to let you guys know you have a diagram of voltage over time so when you've got and it, voltage is going up and time's going that way sorry about my arrows uh, then you've got the cap it starts charging and because it's going through a resistor it has a bit of resistance and that's how it goes okay so that's charging to a certain point in time which is here where it says I'm fully charged and then once you finish with it you want to discharge it and it discharges out of the circuit and then that sets your time as well and that yeah that's pretty much it so what I've done is I've set it up on a little board which I've been playing with this uh, U-Butte thing from Audi I'm pretty happy with it it's cheap and nasty but it's a good um, thing to hold the circuit board so I've just wired it all up here virtually off that 
I've used a bit of um, solder bray to make my uh, main positive and negative rails on this, which is quite easy, and you just solder it. And I make sure that when I cut the ends of the bits of uh, wire, I tin them as well. So yeah, but um, that's how, how far I've got so far. I'll, I'll have it finished in probably another half an hour and then I'll pop it in. Um, it's not a real, real um, essential part. You can use just the button, but I thought I'd do it just to see how it goes. And if that doesn't work, I'll just get an Arduino and write some code. Anyway, that's it from me. I've uh, keep keep going. I've got to get get up to the house soon. My wife's a little bit uh, under the weather at the moment, and. Yeah, I want to make sure she's okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. And, uh, oh, please subscribe and, if you can, like it.